Hello, and welcome to a really random video review. Today I will be reviewing the Samsung SGH A167. Here it is. And I want this to be different than a regular review. I actually want to go over some of the features, the quality, etc. So outside, plastic, nice blue, not much else. We got a little display right here. I'll show that later. Got the battery flip pack, whatever you want to call it. Slides off and you push on it with the battery, SIM slot. Then you put the cover back on, you simply place it in the right notch, slide it. Alright, inside, there's buttons, cookie, annoying thing, press the center one, it automatically yeah. kicks you to the internet. So say hello to some chargers if you're not quick with the exit button. Back, call, etc. Keypad, it's all plot, everything on here is plastic. And most of it, except for these four buttons, are backlit. You know, it's plastic, but the buttons still feel nice enough. Good click. Cena didn't like them, though. Now let's turn it on. Alright, AT&T, because I didn't already know that. Logo, logo. Pretty. Boring. I'm falling asleep. And soon enough. There we go. Main screen, you can set one of four wallpapers they give you, or they can actually charge you to buy a new one. I don't know why you want to pay money for wallpaper. Low resolution, eh, some are decent colors. Now, you think, oh, I want to go to the menu, I should press the center button. Like I said, don't press that, you go to the internet. Instead, the menu decided to be right here. Three by three grid, your standard stuff. Let's see, mobile email, which is really just a web browser, apparently. Messaging, you know what that is. Recent calls, you know what that is. Also shows you all call history, media net. Those known as web browsers, they charge you insane amounts for for total pieces of crap. Media mall, that's the, like where you buy stuff. Unfortunately, they actually have the audacity to charge you for browsing their store, where they make bucks off off you. I don't know why. It's stupid. Games and apps, so applications. Thinking, wiki, etc. And games. There's a few trials. I think I deleted a few to make space. And I actually bought this one just because I had so much money on my account and it's going to expire soon. My stuff, pictures, videos, other stuff you take, and a few tools too. In fact, let's see. So, crappy camera. Here it is. Not much to see at all. VGA. Or, no ISO to speak of. And please look at my display. There we go. Colors a bit off, I might know. Alarms, calendar, not much. Address book, settings. Now, here's the back display. It's only on for a few seconds when you close it, which is a very big complaint. And pressing the buttons won't turn it on either. So you have to basically open and close your phone. And you can see this for half a second. Over here we've got the charging and headphone port. Fortunately, the headphone port is proprietary, so you can't use a 2.5 or 3.5 millimeter. And on the bottom, volume rocker. Cell so phone charm slash lanyard. So all in all, very basic phone, surfaceable, not much. All right, that's the main part of my review. If you keep watching, I'll show you the games. Okay, Super Jewel Quest. That would be Bejeweled Clone. It's on a lot of phones. Tetris. Self-explanatory. After you play for about a minute, it kicks you off. And finally, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. This is a game I get. My advice for you, don't get it. You've seen the console version. It looks pretty good. The iPhone iPod Touch version. Still actually pretty decent. And then this. I'd say it's a glorified version of pole position that they have the balls to charge you five bucks for. I'll show you what I mean. And yes, the center button actually selected it at that time. Do I want sound? Yes, I do because I want to show you how bad it is. EA logo. Looks pretty decent. Need for Speed Pursuit logo. Slightly stretched. Also very low quality. Font so small even I can't read it. I got like the best vision in the family. Want to raise ticket to your local track? Yes, because I actually want to do pole position on a track. Yes, that is the only sound the game makes. 
Let's do hot pursuit. Dling. Uh, forest or coast, doesn't really matter, they look the same. Dling. Circuit patrol mode or sprint. The only thing remotely exciting is patrol mode. Dling. Let's wait for it to load, because I don't know what to, it's to load. Left right to steer. Up to boost. Back to brake. No, I'm rocketing through a turn. I can't see any scenery, so I have no point in reference for where I'm driving. Oh, look. The guy's behind me. I rammed him. It vibrated really long. and made some weird dilling sound again. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. It was busted? Alright, that took such an amount of skill. And so on. Oh, an annoying part. Close it. Open it. You just lost your game. Not that you'd actually care to, you know, keep the game. Alright. There you go. That's GHA 137. This is really random reviews. Sending off.